Tim, the Speedio S700 X1, I've always associated brother machines to be very small, yeah. but actually this machine has got a 700 mil X axis, 400 mil Y axis. This is quite large. Yeah, well, Brothers history will uh, point to the smaller machines, but certainly uh, since they've um, been building the BT30 machine, their capacity internally and the machining capability of the machine have both grown. They've built now over 130,000 BT30 machines. They're quite expert at it. It's a small niche they're playing in the market, but really there's only a few competitors in there. And the way Brother are attempting to lead that market is to develop the capability of the 30 taper. So now we've got BBT, Big Plus Spindle Technology. We've got several different spindle options, including 27,000 RPM, including a high torque uh, version and a 10K version, and the 16K version that's on this machine. And you're right, they've also increased the uh, machining envelope. In fact, the 700 is not the biggest machine. They also do a one meter X-axis machine uh, with a half a meter uh, Y. And in fact, you can perhaps see looking at the trunnion uh, that's on this particular demo machine, that they are uh, allowing us much more in terms of uh, turning circle. This particular trunnion is in fact designed to provide half a metre swing. So you're right, it's, it's a machine that's got a lot of machining uh, capability, but also a lot of capacity now. I mean, they're also associated with speed. So it's a production machine. Um, and moving on to the speed, I mean, I can't believe that you've got an actual ha half a metre swing mm. in such a compact envelope. Yeah. Now, I watched this uh, trunnion rotating earlier and the speed was phenomenal. Mm. Does the tool change cope with that speed? Well, if anything, it's, uh, it's the tool change time and the machine movement time that's driven us to pursue uh, a faster trunnion. It's a, it's a machine that moves at 50 meters a minute that will ta change tool from uh, the tool in the furthest uh, position from the, uh, from the spindle, so the worst position, if you like, the slowest position, it'll do that in less than a second. It'll decelerate from maximum RPM, so the 16K, down, tool change, and back up to the speed in just over a second. And what we were finding is people were looking at the machine, these are customers, and their comments to us were, well, you seem to be waiting for the trunnion. Now, you'll remember from your previous job, Indexes, conventional indexes, worm and wheel indexes, you're probably talking 30, 40 RPM. Direct drive technology like this Ukiwa will give us almost 10 times that. So you're, you're over 300 RPM. Uh, it's more in keeping with the machine tool. The BT30 culture is a very dynamic machine. Everything moves very quickly. And the indexer actually, regardless of where we source them from, the conventional worm and wheel indexes, was seemingly the slower element. And it's really... It's really to combat that, that we've gone down that route. Well, with this kind of speed, well, creates other problems, I suppose. So if you, for example, have that half a meter swing diameter mm. and you were putting quite a, a beefy component on there, yeah. the inertia of, of swinging that at such a speed, um, what I'm trying to get at really is it needs to be rigid. Well, yeah, there's probably two things there. I mean, you'll notice we've taken the uh, counterbearing from the indexer manufacturer, and uh, that is uh, designed really to help provide some extra clamping capability. We've got 900 newton meters combined uh, between the, the indexer and the tailstock. So we, you're right, it goes very quick. If you've got an uneven weight on there or an imbalanced weight, it can be difficult to stop. So firstly, you need the right uh, technology there. But yeah, it's a single piece cast bed. It's very, very rigid now. Again, going back to the, the smaller, lighter Brothers that we used to perceive maybe as just tapping centers. Brothers developments over the last 20 years have taken us in a, a much different direction and we've now got a much more stable machine. And going back now to the envelope of the machine and the strokes, mm -hmm. um, the X and the Y are very impressive. Now, looking at this configuration with the trunnion setup is quite a, a common configuration. What about the Z? It doesn't look like you've got much Z there. Can you extend that Z travel? Yeah, 
you, you're absolutely right to point that out. Uh, this machine is in its standard configuration, uh, and you'll notice on the, uh, on the indexer that there are some big packing pieces in there. It was designed for uh, us to, uh, to allow us to use it on the higher version. There are several uh, versions on the SX machines. We can order several different uh, column extensions, and in fact, we can retrofit them. If we happen to have a customer who was uh, desirous of this half a meter swing, uh, we could easily fit the uh, column riser. We start at 150 millimeter and go up from there, really. So, and they're designed by the manufacturer as a ground column riser. So uh, it's uh, not a local solution. It's a, a, a Japanese engineered solution. So you're getting a lot in a small envelope. Yeah, uh, real estate's expensive in Japan. <laughs> they, uh, they like to keep everything on a, a small footprint. And it's not, just, um, it's not just the small footprint that makes these affordable uh, machines. They're very, very green. Brothers Green credentials are good. They use a lot less power and air than conventional BT40 taper machines. They use LED lights. So they are trying to do their bit, yeah, for the environment and floor space. With the coolant and the swarf evacuation, I see that the swarf's going through the back of the machine. That's it, that's it, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Well, you'll see at the top of the machine, I don't know whether you can perhaps get in there, there are some uh, overhead bed washes uh, over the years. You know, it's a machine that produces a lot of metal removal, so we need to make sure we evacuate it correctly. So there's some good high-level bed wash there. All of the machine guards, I think you'll see, uh, have been designed so that there are no f uh, swarf traps, and they've designed some uh, good angles on the surfaces there to prevent it wearing. Uh, and damming up and we evacuate it all uh, to the back of the machine and we can either have a standard tank or indeed a conveyor. And now just to round up really Tim, thank you very much, it's been very um, educational really, but with the brother control language, if I was a FANUC user and I were looking to, to, to move to uh, a brother machine, mm. could and I had lots of FANUC programs, would I be able to, to, to import the programs into this machine? Yeah, it's a, it's a standard ISO control, uh, so any uh, FANUC uh, program will go in there. There are a number of tiny edits. Uh, the brother will do some things simultaneously that other machines don't do simultaneously, tool change being one of them. We move in uh, all three axes together simultaneously and pre-select the next tool. So there are a number of very small differences, but really you pick them up in a matter of minutes. And just to finish off, this machine is in stock in the UK. This particular machine is actually an ex-demo machine, so not only is it in stock in the UK, it's also in stock at a good price.